Okay, we're going to go over the K1 Bruce Lee series Kalia edition. And before anyone laughs, we seriously did design this for the Bruce Lee family. Go ahead and uh, move toward the system. What this is, is it's a karaoke system that could either be used for professional use or in this case, this customer designed it for their home, but easily will handle a karaoke professional bar. And it's what you call a component system. On the bottom here, you have the RSQDKA 800R series mixing amplifier, which also has a built-in recorder to record the singers. Then above it, you have the calves. DVD 203G USB karaoke player, which you basically utilize a USB drive or an external drive and play your music off of the drive. Then you have a four channel wireless microphone set that has infrared technology, the pair of speaker stands, speaker cables. These are the larger ones. You'll notice that there are more than one speaker. So you want to be careful which ones you look at because there's actually smaller ones that look identical to this. This is the larger ones that are 300 watts each. And you'll notice on the back it has the banana clip. It also has a speak on just in case you ever wanted to use a different type of amplifier to power this up and so forth. But you can hook it up that way as well. These are three-way vocal speakers, so these are built specifically for karaoke. We're sitting in an area that's about almost a thousand square foot and it will easily handle a karaoke show. Then behind it, that's just for demonstration purposes, that's a TV so that we could uh, show what's on the TV. And typically when you plug in your drive, you're going to see these numbers. And then on your screen, <coughs> you're going to see the it's going to show the total amount of songs and basically what you do is you use a remote control, select the song and press play. Now we're going to go over the individual features. We'll start with the amplifier. If you look at the amplifier from the right to the left, over to the right here is your main music volume. So this is where you're going to control your music. Then you have an echo volume. So you pretty much set that. For this individual system, we already set everything for the most part. If you look here, you have, this is your MP3 section, right here. So if you put in a, a thumb drive or an SD card, you could either record, so no matter what you're playing, you could record through the microphones, record the singer, or even just record music, or just simply play MP3. So if you had a thumb drive with a bunch of MP3s on it, you could plug it in and play it. Right below this, these are your sources. Right now we have this player hooked up into the DVD. Then you also have other sources. So let's say you hook up a laptop into the other channel. You could just press this and switch over to the laptop mode. Then over to the left here you have your main microphone volume. Then below it you'll notice that this is where you're controlling your microphone volumes once the larger microphone volume is set. Then to the right here this will allow you to adjust the bass, mids, highs, the type of delay and repeat in the uh, echo effects. And you'll notice exactly where I'm putting these. This is what sounds best in this particular room, but you can adjust it however you want. Then you look at the microphone tone. So that's basically giving the microphone a little more depth, whether you include a little more bass. You'll notice that we put a little more bass in it kept the mids almost straight up and the trebles a little bit higher but there again depending on the room you're in you're going to adjust it to suit your needs then you have the music tone which is basically just the bass and the treble and then you look at the balance right here and that's basically just the left and right speaker which you'll probably never really mess with unless you put one speaker in one room and then one in another room now going up to the player this is your USB player, <clears throat> excuse me. You're gonna be able to play a CD or you're gonna be able to run an external drive. And you just basically pop in the external drive like we said earlier. You're not gonna use the microphone inputs here because you're already using them on the player itself. You'll notice that the wireless mics, one, two, and three, which one, two, and three. And then the fourth one is plugged into the back, which controls that. These are your wireless microphones. 
they have on each channel they have what's called a sync button and what you do in order to sync it up if I turn this on you see how it's showing the green light it's already shown that it's paired up to that channel but if it's not you hold the back of this which is the infrared close to here you press that down it'll start blinking and then it should sync up to the to the actual microphone now we're going to go around to the back of the system real quick and take a quick look on the connections in the bottom here you have the amplifier you'll notice what I did was there's actually more AC plugs here so I plugged in the wireless mics and the karaoke player and this entire amp is powering that up then you look at your speaker cables you could actually run four speakers but if you look at this you have your <clears throat> red and black so you just basically all you're doing is matching it up pressing it in and then as you look over here you'll see all of your audio inputs you'll see that I have the player on the DVD but you also have the inputs for the other ones as well then you'll notice up here there's what's called a subwoofer out let's say you have a small powered subwoofer you could plug the subwoofer in here and control the frequency the depth of it and the volume and then over here is where that fourth microphone went then as we look up here just for demonstration purposes I'm utilizing a different cable to go for the video and then you have the two channel here which is the red and white and that goes down there you look at the four channel wireless microphones you basically have your antennas power and then you'll notice dip switches so let's say uh, microphone one you continually have problems with it as far as frequency you could change these dip switches to another setting make sure it's different from any of these and then you sync it back up with the infrared and then as far as we talk, talked about the back of the speaker that's also the same connection you just uh, go ahead and coincide with the color now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a little bit of the differences on on component systems versus rack systems a lot of people ask well what's the biggest difference between a component system and a rack system one of the biggest things with component systems is for this customer they're using it at home so having components makes complete sense and it saves them money so they don't have to spend more money on racking it in a case and so forth but one of the drawbacks to having components is you basically see more cables if you do a pan shot over here you'll notice that if you have a fully built system you have everything racked in a system and it protects it when you're moving it around so that's that's the biggest difference not only is it more expensive to rack it but it protects it better plus it's more of a plug and play when it's all together and so forth now looking over to the right here another thing people ask about is some of the differences in some of the systems that we sell when you look at a component system that's in this video right here a karaoke amplifier is only gonna it's basically only gonna do so much that's why people sell power amplifiers or they sell powered speakers because typically a power amplifier if you get a good decent power amplifier that's from a reputable company and has legitimate power it's typically going to be better than a traditional karaoke amplifier so if you go into a professional setting you want to push speakers more that's one of the things you could do then if you look at the the speakers in this system and then you also look at a speaker like this over here let's say this person decided they want to do full-blown parties at a hall and they want just bigger or better sound in some of our auctions you'll see the um, the speakers like this which makes it different or you look at something like this this is a dual wireless rechargeable set and these are actually ones that are made to be dropped on the floor over and over again and why that would be different some people like four mics some people would rather just have two microphones but have something that might be a little more durable when when it's uh, when someone drops it and so forth then you look at a corded microphone a lot of people think wireless is automatically better than corded but I could tell you right now this corded microphone right here is better quality than the wireless here but you're also paying almost a hundred dollars for this microphone where you're paying under three hundred dollars for all four of those you definitely get your money's worth there but we just want to clear up the misconception 
where people think having courted automatically makes it where it's not good. You just have to spend the time to do your research and understand what the differences are to make your decisions. Then in some of them, people will run their own laptops and they'll run a laptop stand. There's a big LED cooling fan underneath here. We never recommend you sit it up there, but some people like doing that. Then you have your mixers. What is the biggest difference between a mixer like this and the karaoke mixer that you just saw? This would be superior because one, it's from a higher end brand, and then two, you're also talking about it has much more control over your highs, mids, lows, the different channels and stuff, so this is more professional. One thing we tell people, do not, do not let this scare you. It just takes a little bit of time getting used to, but for those that are willing to take that time, it's well worth its weight in gold. And then some people will get little lights and they'll basically just go ahead and set it up for their show and so forth or you have people that get microphone stands. So there's a lot of different options and that's why we customize a lot of our systems. Just spend the time to talk to us and we'll go ahead and give you the differences with everything. And then go, before we leave, go into the speakers. We could trick consumers and do the whole hype game like so many other people are doing and say that this is a 3,000 watt system. Would we be lying? It would be stretching the truth. Let us explain to you the real differences.